it's not that you don't want to teach because like you said you have ninety eight thousand dollars in student loan debt right and you speak four languages and someone had the audacity to offer you five dollars an hour at a university it's not that you don't want to teach you don't want to teach in their system so you build your own i went to court to interpret one time for something from haitian yeah you know this 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 uh judge so, 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 what are your credentials? Where do you think you can, just like that, where do you think you can come and interpret my court like this? I was, I almost, I was getting flabbergasted. I said, I said, with all due respect, he said, Your Honor, how did they say that? Mm-hmm. With all due respect, it's just like, you feel like an insult. It's just like they come into your court asking you, are you qualified to be a judge? Yeah. <laughs> you said that. Yeah. And then I said, uh, no, sir, just, I, I, I said, uh, I will not come to your court and ask you if you're qualified to be judge. I think if mm. you're a judge, you get your credentials together. The state of whoever hired you to be here. So the company that you guys told to get me here, you should have that kind of conversation with them. But since you ask, I'm going to answer your question. I have a bachelor's degree in Christian education. I've been in engineering and stuff for so many, 30 years. And I've done this, blah, 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 blah. Wow. And I'm working on blah, blah, I took a finish my master's degree in management. Blah, wow. Blah, blah. And then uh, just, just, it's okay, it's okay. That's good enough, sir. I just want it. No, you hit him with no, the list. Yeah. Give him the list. Give him the list I'm of credentials. You, and you have to correct them. And you have to correct them. And I think I the thing so is. I was so upset. And, and I, I kept my composure. Yeah. You know what I mean? But. No, that's, that's the thing. You have to, unfortunately, we live in a time where we do have to correct people like that, but we have to build our own system. Right. Education, that what I was talking about, we're charging students more and more and more, right, and we'll we're see. paying professors less and less and less. Yeah, Most college professors have four jobs just to barely know, get their hands on I found on out the average PhD in this country makes $65,000 a year. Yeah, there's a lot of PhDs on imagine? food stamps. PhD? Yeah, kind of because sometimes... Because of the level of education we have and stuff like that, mm-hmm. people think you're a threat to them. You know, I went to look for a job. My wife said, don't talk about your master's level. So I said, it's good to be a bachelor's degree. Yes. It's like I got to dumb you gotta down. D- yes, you have to dumb yourself down for jobs that will pay you. It's like, I could have got this job out of high school, but the fact you have to take your master's and your doctorate off your resume just to get in a job. In that company that I work for, you know, I've seen them promoting people, blah, blah, blah. And, then, and I'm saying, why are you guys talking to me? Yeah, you know, it's like, well, there's more money taking me. That's not true because I have, you know, I have this degree. I've been yeah. working. So there's all kind of stuff against you. I'm dark skinned, I have an accent, I'm not from here. But I don't want all that to stop me. What it, I'm and it right should now, not stop I'm you. building myself. Yes, you should. When you have money, I'm telling you, you, you become not, I don't want to be elegant, but I don't want to be self, you know, self less subservient to other people. You're not exactly. You know what I mean? You're not. It's exactly. just imitating me to know I know how much I can do. And I can help. Yes, so and money is a tool. The it's person not something you go to you. to give you a job, they don't know how to interview. Mm. They're not educated enough to give the kind of conversation they're having with you. Some of the questions are illegal. Ooh. You know, so because you just they don't know. Yeah. But you there know you're just trying to get a job. So you're like, you know, someone's like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, trying to be pulled out of the but it's you, it's the crap out of me. But this. I meet people in life like you. I don't have any. I don't have anybody to my thumb. Yeah. I'm just fighting to quit my job to have right now. So I just want to have a separate different car so that I have two assets aside. You know, you I should. turn this into like income producing assets. That's and it's I'm sad doing. that Lyft and Uber. I mean, thank God for them, but that oh, those yeah. are the income producing assets. Yes. Yeah. Like my car went out, which is why I'm taking an Uber to work to teach my class. It's right here. It's right here. Where, where's his email? Right there. Um, yeah. Um, and at some point, I had to realize, like, one, I'm not going to stop. But the other thing is, this job where I'm pouring into these students and changing their lives, teaching them from my oh. own lesson plan for my own university, you don't pay me enough. So what I did, I got my own students to give me testimonials and feedback to show that I am yeah, valuable and resourceful. And then I flip myself, and I yeah. flip it onto myself. So you don't let the system play you. When you, every job, you are there. You are specifically there to take. What resources are they using? What are they doing? And how can you flip it for you? Well, but anyway, now, because I know you have to have the credentials. As soon as I clear things up, I'm going to finish the master's level and apply for a PhD program. Even if I that never will finish, pay you. Even if I don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to, because as a PhD candidate, you know, that means people know you want something. You're looking for something. I don't need, 
said that you, I don't feel like I even need any because I can educate myself. There's so exactly, much that is it's true. Just, just dumb stuff you think. We know my, my skills that I have, mm -hmm. I learn how to learn. Yeah. And if I transfer that to other people, we pay too much money for stuff we don't need. Business school, school, general business, it's like a, it's like a, it's, it's almost like it's rigged. It it's is, a way it's for people to make money. It is. Do you know I went to school? I have those many. So let me get the office so that I don't charge you. Okay. You know, I get my books. The book, you know, master's level books. They're expensive, right? Mm -hmm. I was done with them. I said, let me just. I have so many books I've been collecting. I'm going to take this book. This I just made $9.58 for this ride. Mm -hmm. I get. Okay, for today, this is so far $94.92. $94, good. You yeah. know? Yeah. From 7 o'clock. Okay, that's okay. I can handle that. You know what I mean? And then. I take all my books, I say, I'm going to take them to half price, you know, I say, you know what, I don't need them. They offer me $30 for a car like this, full, I have books everywhere. They say, well, you know, we got to resell them, blah, 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 blah. $30, I say, you know what, don't worry about it, I'm not hungry for $30. I could have mm -hmm. given this book away to Goodwill. Ooh, I'm not hungry for thirty dollars. Yeah, I'm not, that's well, not, your I'm appetite got to change. This much knowledge. This much knowledge, yeah. And you, that, Even if I have to sell my book for one dollar a piece, I I made more money because I had more than thirty books. I mean, I, I, my whole car was full. I said, yes. I'm gonna give. I don't need them. My kids said, I can go online. You know what? I kept all my books as of today. And it's a mindset. It yeah. really is a mindset. And I have to, when your money is low, you don't think the same. You don't move the same. You move with a sense of desperation and not urgency. And I don't want that. And so you don't now, want that. I take two days off for work because of that. Yeah, say, so you know what? I'm moving my finance. I'm like, you know what? I can make money. Let me try this thing out. So I don't care if my wife's mad. Not, I don't care what she does right now. If financially, I see the results are more than what I expect, mm -hmm. I don't care who said no, you, I'm going to stop working. Because mm -hmm. I've been working in this country for a long time. The little chunk they give you for retirement, stuff like that, mm -hmm. don't mean it doesn't. my language. No, I know. No, it, yeah, you yeah. can't rely on that. Yeah, you can't rely on that. I feel that that didn't sound too bad. It doesn't mean crap. It, I understand. So because of that, I'm like, you know what? I'm pushing myself. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get all my degrees I need to have. I'm using all the system to do whatever. And then, like you say, create your own stuff. And create your and own and stuff. Your own stuff like that. So yeah. Sure, so. Can I pray for you? Please, let's yes, do it. Yes, let's I'm do a, it. I'm a, I'm a believer too. Yay! Dear Heavenly Father, I'm going to shed that off. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to approach your throne with thanksgiving, Lord. Thank you for this divine lift appointment. Father, I lift up Brother Ken right now. I thank you for his passion. I thank you for his heart for you. I thank you that he wants to teach your children, Lord. I thank you that as your word, it says to preach, to teach, to heal, and cast out devils, Lord. And I thank you for breaking the spirit of poverty off in his life right now. I thank you for calling him into a season of wealth right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for people who are assigned to bless him right now. I thank you that there are people praying for him and his knowledge and services. I I thank you that he is a solution to a problem, Lord. I thank you that he will not be intimidated by the faces of men, but he will fear the heart of the Lord. I thank you for the billion-dollar idea that you are giving him right now. I thank you, Lord, that he will work less and he will make more in the name of Jesus. I thank you that he will not shy of his testimony for what you are doing for him. I thank you, will you. I, f I praise you, Lord, that you will protect him from the evil one. I thank you that Satan will have to bow down and get behind him in the name of Jesus. Father, we call upon angelic assistance right now to protect him, to minister to him, to encourage him, Lord, and to put him on the right path, Lord. Just because something looks good, Lord, we know it's not always God, so we ask that you protect him from the spirit of deception. I ask that you anoint him with the spirit of discernment, Lord, that the Holy Spirit abide in him right now. I ask right now that the Holy Spirit baptize him right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you that he carries the blood and he is saturated with the blood lord and we just lord i thank you for the turnaround lord i thank you i will hear about his story on social media i thank you lord that you cover his family and his adult children lord that you break all of the curses off of their life lord and you give them a life that is submitted to you jesus we thank you in advance for the blessings and the overflow that is coming to pour out right now i thank you that you will pour out a blessing he his wife his children his neighbors don't have room enough to receive lord we thank you for his determination. We thank you for this time, Lord. We ask that you forgive us of all of our sins, Lord. And we come into your agreement with your word and help us to have a, hurt, a thirst and a hunger for you. We ask these things in your son's blessed name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, uh, Amen. Uh, Yay! This was so good! Thank you so much for driving me to work. Yes, please give me a hug. Of course. Right? I ran out of my business cards. On a budget.